There's a new member in the Raspberry Pi product family today, and it's a bit of a mouthful. The Raspberry Pi Zero W. Functionally, it's very similar to the currently existing Raspberry Pi Zero. It features the same 1 GHz single core CPU, the same 512 megabytes of RAM, the very same mini HDMI and USB on the go ports for interfacing with a computer, the familiar 40 pin header for GPIO access, and the same CSI camera connector. But it adds one significant component that's been missing since the board was announced a little over a year ago, a radio for 802.11n wireless LAN and Bluetooth 4.0. It's the very same radio that appears on the Raspberry Pi 3, so if you've worked with that board, you'll be in familiar territory. This welcome addition will make the Pi Zero that much easier to work with when setting it up, and will reduce the number of components you need for embedded or headless applications. This new addition to the board, however, comes at a price. The Raspberry Pi Zero W will sell for $10, compared to the Zero's $5 price tag. To celebrate this announcement, let's take a look at a handful of projects from the Make community that make use of the Pi Zero and see how they'd be benefited from the addition of the Pi Zero W. Nick Brewer's Vintage Intercom Echo takes a classic intercom speaker and uses a Raspberry Pi Zero and the Amazon Alexa voice service to modernize this vintage hardware with all of the functionality of Amazon Echo. Today is Robert De Niro's birthday. You talking to me? With Raspberry Pi Zero W, you'll be able to do without the USB hub since the Wi-Fi connectivity is built onto the board, but you'll still need a USB on-the-go adapter to connect the audio card and microphone. This Pi Zero IoT LED matrix beamer projects messages from the internet using a hacked lamp from IKEA and an 8x8 LED matrix. The original design demanded a USB on-the-go adapter to connect a Wi-Fi module so it can reach the outside world, but with this new board, you can go without. It's not a massive change, but a welcome one. Finally, we get another project from Nick Brewer, the Pixie GIF camera. This is a Raspberry Pi powered camera that takes a series of images using the Pi camera and stitches them together into an animated GIF. There are a number of ways you can set up the camera, either to store the images on the internal SD card or on the USB thumb drive for easy offloading. The third option is to use the Twitter API and have the Pixie post GIFs directly to a Twitter account of your choosing. If you offer this, you'll be able to forego the additional hardware. The Pi Zero W is hardly life-changing, but it's these little conveniences that make it a far easier board to work with to develop your embedded or IoT applications. What's more, the Raspberry Pi Foundation is also releasing an official enclosure for the Raspberry Pi Zero with three different variants. A plain enclosure, one with mounting points for the Raspberry Pi camera module, and one with open access to the Pi's GPIO pins. The Raspberry Pi Zero W is available now.